what's up? It's Bianca back with another guitar tutorial. This time we'll be learning Avalanche by James Arthur. This song is pretty beginner friendly to play as far as strumming goes. Um, but before we get started with the tutorial, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future tutorials. And let me know down in the comments what other songs you'd like to learn on guitar. The first thing you need to know to play Avalanche by James Arthur is you need your guitar in standard tuning with your no capo, so that is incredible. We do have five chords. One of them is a bar chord, but before that scares you off, I will show you two alternative ways to play this chord so you don't have to bar it if it's something that you're struggling with. We'll have one strumming pattern and four chord progressions, so this song is set up pretty easily for you beginners out there. Alright, so let's get into the five chords you need to know. So first up is our dreaded bar chord, B minor. Or you can play the open version of B minor. Or you can also substitute B minor for B minor 7. Alright, moving on we have G major. A major. Last but not least, our easy E minor. Alright, now that we know chords, let's get into the strumming pattern that repeats throughout the entire song. It's just down, down, up, down, up. And for a majority of the song, you'll play it twice. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. You'll play it twice per chord. So we'll start with your verse because it's the first part of the song. Your chord progression is B minor to G major to B minor to A major. So it's B minor. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, G major. Now moving on to the pre-chorus, your chord progression changes, it's B minor, A major, G major, and G major again. So for that G major, you play it four times instead of twice because you repeat the G major. So it's B minor. Moving on to the chorus, your chord progression is D major to E minor to B minor to G major, sticking with down, down, up, down, up twice. So D major. The last part of the song that you need to know for chord progression purposes is the bridge. So your chord progression is E minor to B minor to D major to G major to A major. You may have noticed that the G major and the A major are in parentheses. That just means that they share measures. Instead of doing down, down, up, down, up twice for those chords, you'll do it one time. The next line is E minor to B minor to G major to G major again to B minor to A major. So the E minors tw you do down, down, up, down, up twice. Same for B minor. The G major down, down, up, down, up four times. And then the B minor and the A major you go back to doing it twice. So all together it'll sound like this. And that is literally everything you need to know to play Avalanche by James Arthur. So let's get on with the full playthrough.
that's how you play Avalanche by James Arthur. I hope you all enjoyed my tutorial. If you did, definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future tutorials. Bye guys, see you next time.